Good morning. We're here at the Blue Moon Estate Sale. If you like shopping with me, please subscribe and hit the like button. It is half price day. Let's hope we can find some buys. Hi, it's Lori from Dakota Relics. Come join me as I travel around the area, searching for treasures that I can buy and then flip for a profit. You'll never know what I find unless you follow me. Come on, let's get shopping. Well, there are more things left than I thought there was going to be. That's a cute little nativity set. At half price, it would be $7.50. Oh, is this? I'm going to check that out, too. I have to find a basket. Oops, I just knocked something over. Like these little cordial glasses are cute too. Steins just don't sell well for me. A lot of pieces from Holland. Mm. This is a cute little pink candy dish. Pink depression glass. Oh, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Someday it will happen. <laughs> this is kind of nice. Up in the right hand corner. Oh. Studio art, though. Are you ready? We have like full full. Okay, so pick up strange pieces. This is a piece of the iron curtain for $5. I'm gonna get it. Here's a Ford gasoline gauge. I'm gonna look that up too. A lot of Harley Davidson leathers here. Um, some, I think that looks like an old army jacket. There's some interesting things here. Oh. I don't think that's old because of the heart thing. Okay. I like these coffee cups too. I think they're just handmade. Check that out. Thank you, Doorman. <laughs> you will appreciate it. It's a line. Make sure all your I'm so sorry. Just kitchen supplies otherwise. <laughs> yeah. So in the basement now, um, that's actually really cute. I could save that for Easter. <laughs> what is the egg inside the egg? Okay, some things over here. Um, angel, oh, angel trio votive candle. Probably not. I'm thinking this mouse is cute, but I don't see a price on him. Do I think I'm going to take him? He'll charge me something. Oh, lots of aprons. If these are aprons. Got the 
cappuccino. Not at all. Look at cars. Huh. Kind of dark down here. Outside now. It's crowded in there. This is kind of cool. Don't have a name on them. That's a label maker, but I'm not sure. I found a few things already, and I'll show you my haul when I get home. Towels and such. Pictures. It's a very pretty cross stitch. Wolves. Okay. Found my favorite. I'm buying this. It's tiny. It's nice. I like it a lot. Thank you. Got some more things here. You got to figure it out. We got a squeeze through here. And I think that was theirs too. This was your yours too? Yeah. Yep. And was this yours as well? I'm going to pick this up. Is this yours? Yeah. Okay, that's all right. Sorry, here we go. I just need to get back here on the oh, there's some stuff here. Our swag, no idea. Okay, this is a very cool Dutch wooden shoe wine holder. I think I'm going to pick that up. It's $10, so it would be 5 But then also this nice little shelf. I'd like that shelf, too. So that would be $4, but it is bolted to the wall. I have to ask for help. Well, I wasn't even going to go to this estate sale, but decided to head there on the last day when everything was 50% off. Um, probably should have went the first day because I think there could have been a lot of interesting items at this sale. But I'm going to show you what I bought, and I'm going to start with the smallest first. This is probably from the 1950s. It's a rhinestone sweater clip. Since mid-century modern is so popular right now, I thought it might be possible that this could sell pretty well. I paid $2.50 for it, um, probably about $25. But what you would do is when they would wear their cardigan sweaters, you would hook this on each side so you wouldn't have to have your arms in the sweater or that the sweater wouldn't open up. But I think it's very pretty. So $2.50. The next thing, of course, you know how I love train cases. And this is probably the smallest train case I have ever found. Um, I do think it's newer. I would say maybe mid-70s. It has a combination lock on it that um, has the instructions inside on how to change it. But even the inside is in really good shape. The tray lifts, lifts out. It's all lined like in a suede material. I paid $15 for this. Um, can't find one exactly like it, so I'm not quite sure how much I'll list it for, but probably around that um, $60 to $70 mark. And then this set of cordial glasses. Um, I'll hold one up. It's still in the box. These are Lady Victoria cordial glasses. Crystal stemmed cordial glasses is what it says. I paid $2 for these. Look them up. You know, not a huge profit, but I'll probably list them right around that $25 mark. Uh, this was really interesting, and I'm not sure to this day why I picked it up. I just know that old tools can sell pretty well, and this is really interesting. It has a brass ring. I think it's a screwdriver. Not even sure about that. 
and a very old wooden handle. Now there is printing around the brass ring, but I can't read it. So I paid $250 for this. No idea what I'm gonna list it for yet. I gotta do a little bit more research. Um, this I found very interesting. It's a 1928, let me look. Nope, 1926 model Ford vertical gas tank um, gauge. So I guess you would just stick this in the gas tank and then that's how you would find out how much gas you had in your tank. I paid $5 for this. Um, you know, around that $35 or $45 mark is what they're listed for on the internet, but probably not used much. I mean, there's a little bit of, of um, markings on the one side, but yeah, it's like in really good condition. Then you know how I always tell you, pick up the strange, pick up the unusual, things that you probably have never seen before. Well, this is one of them. I'm pretty sure it is handmade. Um, it says September 18th, 1987, West Germany. Um, and then probably the people that made this. So it down here, carved in the wood, it says the Iron Curtain. And this metal uh, piece of fencing, I think, was part of the Iron Curtain. Underneath it is like somebody mod podged um, statistics from a probably magazine or newspaper article about the Iron Curtain. I paid $5 for this. It's one of a kind, very unique. No idea how much I'm going to list it for. But somebody that is interested in that era is going to purchase this. And hey, I think it's great that they're gonna save a piece of the Iron Curtain. So yeah, $5, I don't know yet. I don't know yet what I'm gonna purchase that or list that for. And then this is a very unique item. Um, there's similar items like this on the internet, but it is a carved like Dutch shoe wine holder, wine bottle holder. Um, it's really pretty if you see that. It's kind of in the pastels with a lighter, probably like birch wood. This would come out, this peg, and then the bottle comes out that way. So I paid $10 for this, which I thought was a great buy. And they're probably $75 to up to $100 on the internet. And then last, I'll probably save this listing more towards Christmas. It's pretty big here. And I hope I say this word right. Fontanini from Italy. Nativity set. Here is the, the manger. It has 16 pieces. Fontanini is a very popular uh, Italian um, nativity maker but the pieces are probably i would say five inches tall but i paid 1750 for it and they're listed you know upwards 125 dollars for a set this large and even higher but shipping will be a, um a bit hard because it's so large the stable or the manger needs a little bit of work, but it's not its not in bad shape. It just needs to be secured. It's a little wobbly. So I'll get that fixed up before I list it too. So that is my haul from the estate sale. I love estate sales. Easy to film inside an estate sale. Most of them know me around here now when I go to an estate sale and they're always happy to see me because they know I buy stuff. Um, and of course the you know free advertising you know, from my YouTube channel. Uh, there is one estate sale in town that will not let me film. Um, I also think she's very overpriced. So I generally don't go to those. Estate sales are a great place to find unique and interesting things. Um, right now, I've said this so many times, but I am overwhelmed with in, uh, inventory. But when I see these really unique items, like that wine um, holder, or, or the nativity scene, you know, I know I'm going to make a lot of money on that. Of course, I have to pick them up. So until we see each other again, have a great weekend and uh, we'll see you next time. Make sure you hit the like, give me a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel. Bye.